What's up guys, real quick, before we go any further, just, just know this is not a paid promotion, and in fact, I, I test paid promotion videos, so this is all just my own accord, me doing this video, and I think it's a good PSA for you guys out there on the internet. Let's do a little intro, and we'll talk about it. So what's up guys, welcome back to another little episode, a little baby episode today. Uh, it's hot today. It's finally getting warm, so it should be here in Virginia. C06 is doing phenomenal. I got the second wheel painted. That fun graphite color. If you follow the channel, I got to do these this weekend. And then I ordered my Willwood brake caliper kit. That'll be here in a few days, but that's for a future video. Today we're focusing on something else. Something that at face value seems like steak oil and just so we're clear. The only thing in 20 years I'm working on cars that I actually like as an additive to put in a car is Tecron, only because I, I know it works. Uh, if you follow my channel or if you have a C5, I think some C6 Corvettes, Tecron is a lifesaver. Now, if you don't follow the channel, I got this car and I got a Mini Cooper. The channel is mostly for the Corvette, but sometimes I do some Mini Cooper stuff. And because I do Mini Cooper stuff, I'm on some Mini Cooper forums, and that's some other German type forums. If you go on any Mini Cooper or BMW, Mercedes, I think even Audi really, any other tech bulletins where they talk about additives or oils or et cetera, et cetera, they swear up and down by this stuff. And by this stuff, I mean Liquid Molly. I hope I'm saying that right. I always read it, but actually I read it out loud. Liquid Molly. Kind of funny if you think about it. But this is a German product. This is a MOS2 anti friction for gears. Uh, like I said, my Mini Cooper forms, they swear by this stuff to put it not only in your gearboxes, but your rear ends and your uh, your engines as well. Now, I wasn't going to put it in my rear end because it's limited slip, and this is not. I repeat, this is not. One more time, this is not for limited slip differentials. Do not put this in your limited slip. It'll destroy it, all right? This is simply for an additive for your manual only, manual gearbox. If you have paper clutches or limited slip, you're going to destroy it. So this would only work in like a T56 or a T6060, etc. I put it in because, and how it looks, it's like, it's almost like graphite how it comes out. It's like a super shiny black. Very interesting. Long story short, why I did it, I've always been curious because I never hear about this stuff in any American or Corvette form stuff. Rightfully so. I'm not much of an additive type of guy. I think it's a waste of money. For my transmission, I was going to plan on doing a rebuild this summer anyways. My fourth gear, synchro shot, my one or two keys are going out. So I was going to do a rebuild, but I figured just for shits and giggles, I'm going to throw some in and report back to us American folk with the big old V8 engines, how Liquid Molly actually feels. Uh, putting it in, I didn't really have any expectations. I didn't think I'd even see a difference. For reference, this one little tube will treat 0.7 gallons, and I think total volume of the gearbox is like 0.81, but I just did the one just to see how it would feel. I threw that bad boy in. Uh, the second day I did it, I took it for a drive, it felt noticeably better, but I thought maybe it was just a placebo effect. I parked it, drove it a couple days later again, I forgot I had done it. I was like, man, this thing's shifting very crisp today. I was like, oh, maybe it's some of that additive stuff. This was a month ago I did this, and I waited a month before I made a video on this. This thing shifts so smooth. The gearbox has almost no whirl anymore in it, and feedback to your shifter, I'm not kidding. It shifts as if there's no play or slop anymore. I don't know what kind of black magic is in that bottle, but it is phenomenal. Now, it's not going to cure a broken transmission. I will say it has not grinded forth since, which is pretty incredible. It definitely feels almost like a new gearbox. I know I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I'm not trying to get you too excited and go buy Liquid Molly. But I was shocked at the performance difference. And now I understand why all these German... Now I understand why all these German fanboys rave about this stuff. There is something to it. From what I understand, it has like a friction barrier in between metals. They don't actually touch anymore. And it's supposed to absorb impact or something. I don't know. But it's it's some kind of witchcraft and it's pretty incredible. 
again, maybe let me do this for a couple more months. Make sure the transmission doesn't just blow up. So please use me as a guinea pig. I'll report back in a couple more months. Make sure everything's still going smooth. But if you have any kind of transmission issues during 256 or want something that chips a little more, I can't put in the words how it feels. It just feels a lot more confident. There's just slop that's gone. And when it engages, it just feels a lot better. God, I wish I could describe it with English words that make sense. But they're really shocked about how good this little additive was. And I think it, I got the bottle off Amazon. I think it was like $8. In the description below, there'll be a link. They don't sell the stuff really in stores. I think they sell a type of motor oil in stores. But as far as the, the gearbox, I don't know. You can't just find it. You got to order it. And again, this is just for the manual gearbox. You could do it in the LS motor. They make an additive. I don't know about that. Their motor runs just fine. Um, they make one for a non-limited slip differential. So again, only use this if you want to do it in the manual gearbox. It will destroy your ATF. Here's my little PSA for you guys. Liquid Molly in a gearbox, in a gearbox, pretty phenomenal. And I never thought I'd like two additives out there in the wild. So there's two. Tecron and Liquid Molly are my two favorite go-to. And uh, the type of gear oil I run, I run uh, Pendulo Synchro Mesh, which is almost identical to the GM style Synchro Mesh. I love it. I just love the way Synchro Mesh feels. That added with the Liquid Molly. Mm, mm, fantastic. Eating it up. Love it. So just a little life hack for a little crisper shifting transmission. So I feel like every week I'm always trying to dial in my transmission. I make it a little better. Like again, I had an extension on my uh, my shift knob for a while. I just found out I just had air in my clutch system. And I'm really good at bleeding clutches. This one's just very unique. I ended up having to get a vacuum pump on top to get it out of the master cylinder. It was weird, but I got it all out. And real quick, like I said at the beginning of the video, I did order the uh, Wheelwood brake kit. I only got the four piston though, so I'm not gonna like track it or anything. But it should be leaps and bounds better than the stock situation. Front wheels are good to go. Got to get some, some rubber on those guys. Those go in the back. These will be going up front once they're painted. Yeah, a lot of fun stuff coming for the C5. Like, there always is. Well, I'm talking a lot about this video. It's was supposed to be like two minutes long. So I hope you enjoyed this and found it informative and feel free to ask questions. I like to answer questions. So. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys later this week.